Hello and welcome along to Creating Motion Graphics in Adobe After Effects with your host Robert Smith. In this introductory video we're going to look at the interface and what After Effects is. Now After Effects basically is a melting pot for Photoshop, Illustrator, video and audio files. It creates what is loosely called motion graphics that can be used on TV or the web with equal functionality. Now let's get stuck straight in. The basic structure is that you create content in external applications, then import them into After Effects, manipulate, affect them, and then output to one of the many video formats available. You can also create content directly inside After Effects. This course is aimed at graphic designers creating content for YouTube video, Facebook, etc., and assumes that you have at least a basic understanding of Illustrator and Photoshop. Did I mention how much fun it is? And what an incredible graphic landscape you can create with After Effects. Now After Effects is often referred to as Photoshop on steroids. I still don't know what that means. But anyway, here we are in After Effects. I've just clicked on the icon in the dock and it opens up like this. And with all um, Adobe applications you get this welcome screen. So let's just get rid of that. I find it a bit of a pain really. It's only really good for opening previous projects, but we haven't got any, so I'm just going to close that down. And if your first look at After Effects, this is the interface. It's a lot different to anything else you're probably used to if you're used to Photoshop and doing print work. Okay, and what we've got, let's have a quick tour around. What we've got on the left-hand side here is called the Project Window. And that's where all your assets, all the things you import into Art, they all live here. And then we drag them into various areas within the interface to manipulate them. So that's called the project window. Now, this part here is called the composition window. Now, we don't have a composition yet, and we don't even know what that is. But it's simply uh, a period of time in which you manipulate things. And this is where you see what happens in this area here. And down here, now, if you're new to motion graphics, this is called the timeline. This is where we do most of our manipulation over time, where we make things bigger and smaller and rotate them and fade them in and out and all sorts of things. And over on the right hand side here, we have a whole lot of property manipulation, as you would in most Adobe applications. Okay, so let's just do a bit of homework first. First of all, let's look at our workspace. We're going to be working in the standard workface here, um, workspace like this. So if yours is not in standard at the moment, just click on here and that will uh, bring it to look like I've got it here. And OK, now so the first thing you want to do is basically import some assets. And so that's what this video is about, importing some work into um, After Effects. So let's have a look at some files that I've prepared earlier. OK, if I just Command Tab into, say, Illustrator, like this. Here's a file I've made in Illustrator. You'll notice up here it's got four layers like this. And this is what you generally do. You generally make a layered file in, say, Illustrator or Photoshop, and you maintain those layers so we can manipulate each one of those layers separately. Let's have a look at the same thing in Photoshop. Command tab to that. Here we are in Photoshop. We have exactly the same file. But it's again layered, it's got a layered structure like this. Each of these um, objects is on a different layer. I'll just turn this off as you can see. Now that's um, basic standard Photoshop and Illustrator work. So let's go back into After Effects, Command Tab, back into After Effects, and let's import these assets into our library. Now to do that, I'm going to go do it a couple of ways. First of all, I'll do it the, the long-handed way. I'm just going to go to File, Import, File like this. And I'm going to navigate my way to the desktop. And there's some assets. Now the first thing we're going to um, bring in is a flattened Photoshop file. In other words, it's only got one layer. So I'm going to click on this file like that. And you'll notice down here, this is really, really important. So if you haven't been paying attention up to this point, where it says import as footage like that, that's what you want. If you've only got one layer, import it as footage. It simply means, it's a fancy way of just saying one layer. And let's go open like this. And you'll notice over here now in our um, asset window or library, whatever you want to call it, project window, we now have a Photoshop file. If we select it like this, you'll notice you have a bit of information up here about that file. So let's do the same thing again. I'm going to go to File, Import, uh, File again. Now this time I'm going to import the same file but as a layered file. Now this is again really important. 
Now what I'm going to do is select the file I want to import like that and where it says import as footage down here make sure it says composition retain layer sizes. Now what's a composition? That'll be covered in the next couple of videos but that's what you want. If you've got a layered file make sure you import it as that and let's click open and see what happens and you get this little um, dialog box where After Effects is asking you a couple of questions. You don't really need to know what's going on there. Just the default is 90% um, of the time. Just click OK. Now you'll notice that we have this little icon here. This is a composition icon. And again, that will be covered in another um, video. But if I open up this little folder, you'll see now I've got all of my layers from that Photoshop file. So it's exactly the same as it was in Photoshop. OK, that's one way of importing files. Another way of importing files is simply to double click here in my project window, like this, in a blank area, and it will open up the import file. Now I'm going to import this time a video. Now there are many f formats of video which we'll look at as time goes by, but this .mp4 is, is quite popular at the moment. It's, it's, it's not great quality, but it's uh, um, easy to handle. The file sizes aren't too big, so I'm just going to click on that. And again, notice here we don't have any options this time. We just simply go OK, open, like that. And now I've got a video. And now you'll notice if I click on it up here, we have information about that video. It tells it how big it is, um, uh, how long it lasts, how fast it is, how many colors, etc. And more of that later. OK, and I can simply drag straight from the desktop if I wanted to, but I want to, um, this way I'll do it again. I'll just double click anywhere in a... Um, blank area here and this time I'm going to import an audio file. Now this is basically a .mp3 which is a compressed format. It's not great quality again but that is mostly the standard for smartphones and most people tend to have mp3 files. So I'll select that and click open. Notice I don't have any options down here. I just go OK open and there it is. What we've just done, let's summarize what we've done. We've just opened up After Effects and it had, creates what's called a project and we've just imported into our project. A project is like a, the um, the whole thing, the whole thing you're doing as opposed to breaking it up into smaller areas and now I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to click simply save this and I'll save it into my assets folder and I'll just call it um, basic AE import like that now I'm a web developer as well that's why I use underscores like that basic AE import and we want to be a After Effects project now there are some issues with saving backwards as there are with most Adobe products if you're on the creative cloud you may have some issues you may have to save it back as a legacy CS6 format to open it in this CS6 version we're using here uh, the good news is that the difference between Creative Cloud and CS6, there's basically the Creative Cloud has a lot more functionality, but the structure and everything's exactly the same. So that's what we've done. We've just opened up a project in After Effects and we've imported some assets already to be manipulated. Okay, see you in the next video.